And I'm like, heck to the no. We ain't going there. We ain't doing that. Hey y'all and welcome to Hot Chocolate Chat. Today I'm drinking a hot chocolate from Starbucks. And I want to talk about restrooms. Also, I'm sure you noticed, but I parted my hair on the other side today, so. <gasps> wow. Let's talk about restrooms. So I was in, I was near Will's Point last weekend and I stopped by a restaurant and the restaurant was top notch. It was, it was clean, nothing fancy, but it was clean. And I was like, yes, cause y'all know, I don't, I don't, y'all know my issues with bathrooms. I, it has to be decent. I was talking to someone and I don't know if, I don't remember who it was. So if it was you, let me know if it was you that we were talking about porta potties at weddings. And I'm like, heck to the no, we ain't going there. We ain't doing that. But on this week's episode of things Lisa learned, but didn't know, no, no. I learned that there's something called a luxury porta potty and it is on a trailer and it looks just like a restroom, but it's a porta potty. So if I go to an event in the future and there's a need for a porta potty, I need everybody to get on the same page and get me a luxury one. I don't think it's asking too much. I think I'm worth it. I think I deserve it. So make it happen. That is literally a concern and a question I have before going somewhere that is like outdoors or whatever. What is the restroom situation going to be? And if you answer luxury porta potties, okay. That's what I want to talk about today. So let me know, have you ever heard of luxury porta potties? What are your thoughts? Did you Google it yet? And if you want to follow me on Instagram and YouTube, it's our gray house, but just don't follow me in real life though, because that's creepy. Mm -hmm.